In the final weeks of the Trump administration, the rush to complete the border wall is no more challenging than on a mountainous corner where Arizona and New Mexico meet Mexico in the Sierra Madres. Here, the president's signature infrastructure project is particularly challenging to build and even more controversial because of the pristine lands the wall is cutting through. The last 35 miles of building the president's wall in Arizona is underway in the rugged Sierra Madres Mountains. It's terrain so difficult, roads have to be carved into mountainsides so men, machines, and materials can sink the 30-foot high steel beams in concrete. Construction costs here have been reported at $41 million a mile, more than any other stretch of the 738-mile project. But Jose Manuel Perez sees a greater cost. It's a huge richness of biodiversity, of culture, and relationship between the two nations. We are losing that with this wall. The wall, intended to stop people, also stops migrating animals. The biggest corridor for big mammals, like the mountain lions, the jaguars, they don't recognize any boundaries. They've been here forever. Perez runs a land preservation organization, Cuenca Los Ojos. His border cameras capture images of the animals here. A local landowner, Valer Clark, started it all. She learned barren land can flourish by piling up rocks to retain scarce water, and her crew made tens of thousands of them. Later, she bought 130,000 acres on the Mexico side for Cuenco Los Ojos to care for. But I fell in love with dirt. She also convinced reluctant ranchers to join the conservation effort. But now decades of work is literally being blown up. Unlike other projects that require review under the National Environmental Policy and Endangered Species Act, some of these protections blew up too after the 9-11 attacks. The wall is a national security project. And what is going on here has attracted lawsuits and spectators. The majority of my day is spent looking through a 400 millimeter lens to find out where the crews are. John Kurtz, a North Carolina wedding photographer, arrived after the pandemic brought his business to a standstill. He's since made wall construction from Texas to California his focus. I think it's insulting. People and drugs, this won't stop any of that. What it will stop and what's kind of sickening to me is wildlife migration. You have species that they won't be able to get through these migratory paths. That will end, but migration is not going to, to stop and neither is the drug trade. President-elect Biden wants to stop the building and leave motion sensors here already to track human movement. But until then, construction continues, conquering a landscape, transforming it perhaps forever. And we reached out to multiple federal agencies to comment on the wall's environmental impact, but they have not responded to our questions, certainly.